Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Seed Showcase series. It's only the other day that I was doing another Survival Island Seed, but this one seems to top the one I did the other day in my opinion, because it has all of the tree types you can ever get, and it seems that all the islands are very specialised to all of the biomes. What I've just done there is not the map out of the wall, which is fantastic, which means I'll have to get another one. We'll do this then, and then we'll take a look at the map then, shall we? So, here in front of us is the map. As you can tell, it's a lot less than the last one. Up here we have the spruce sort of biome over here, so it's sort of a tiger biome. Down here we have a tiny little bit of roof forest, you can see it behind us over there. We have basically mostly birch forest and uh, forest on this one over here, as you can see behind me. There's a little bit of flowers here and there, but it's mostly a birch forest and a normal forest. Moving on on the map, we have two big areas of swamp biome here in the middle, and then we have this sort of savanna section right here. We also have a village. It's not very much of a village, but there is a village nonetheless. We have our, our plenty of ocean monuments. There's one here, there's two in this area right here. There actually is a little bit of island sticking up out of these two areas here. It's just like a couple blocks of sand though. So, let's go and check everything out then, shall we? So obviously you can get a quick view of this area right here. Decently sized island, you've got a bit of a hill on it as well. And that's pretty much it. If you go over this direction, you'll notice the lily pad starting to form. Because we have this decent section of swamp. Not too much sugarcane as I've seen though. And we'll just take a glance over at this section over here as well. Uh, we have a lava lake there if you want to go to the nether without caving. Plenty of options, of course. Well, you would have to go to Cayman to get at least a bucket anyway. So, out here we have our end portal out in the middle of the ocean. Night vision potion, water breathing potion. Let's just chug them both so you can see underneath. As you can see, the clearly identifiable um, structure of the end portal itself. You don't really need anything to find it. Uh, because it's basically under the water, you should be able to spot it fairly easily. It's got uh, two eyes in it, and that's about it for where it goes in this fortress. It's pretty much separated from the rest of it, I think is the best term for it. Now, some more of these glowstone pillars over here um, are for diamond locations. Did not be, uh, haven't been able to really find a library in this area because of it being so shattered. Six diamonds there. Now, where is the hole to get out? It is above my head. Let's show off a couple more locations. Got one here right next to the place. Drop all the way down to the bottom. And down here, I'm pretty sure this is three. Yes, we got three diamonds there. That makes nine. And then I think there's another tiny, tiny little one over here as well in this cave system over here. I think one of these cave systems actually has two sets of diamonds in, which I think I actually marked them off properly. This is another three right here. And that's pretty much it for the diamonds. Let's go and take a quick look at the savannah over behind us this direction. Obviously, you've got an ocean monument there, but there are plenty of them because obviously it is a deep ocean biome which covers most of the map. Over here, clearly, you can see you've got all the acacia trees. It's a decently sized island if you ever wanted to do any sort of building on it. And then over here, you have a farm. Now, obviously, survival island is supposed to be tricky. If you want to work your way over here and make life a little bit easier, bit of a diamond armor over there. Uh, diamond armor, iron armor, mixing my words, and then you've obviously got potatoes and some wheat. Last but not least, uh, we will take a quick glance over here to show you the tiger biome, but that's pretty much it for this seed. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'm just going to glance past everything over here. Another ocean monument on my right-hand side there. The smallest of all the islands in this world is this tiny little bit here. It is no more than one, two, three, four, five, six blocks out of the water. Another ocean monument over here. There's plenty of them to go around. Don't really need to put the coordinates in the description for you guys, but I will leave in the description the coordinates of all the end portal stuff. This is just a stone area right here, and this obviously is a tiger biome. A little challenge you should probably try and do, maybe try and get a snow golem. A little bit of a challenge, but there are possibilities that it will snow in these biomes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I guess I will see you all again in the next one.